So getting a PenFed credit card is probably one of the best personal credit cards you can get. Whether you're rebuilding your credit and coming back from way back, whether you're starting out your credit journey from scratch, or whether you just have great credit and want to further leverage your credit, PenFed credit cards are a pure gem. And in this video, I'm not only just going to tell you how to get approved for them, but I'm going to give you the data points that you need to know. I'm also going to tell you how you can utilize and leverage them. And then I'm also going to give you some tips and tricks on how to liquidate them in some ways that you probably have never heard before. This is going to be a video full of gems. We're going to keep it short and sweet. And we're also going to help you figure out which is the best PenFed credit card for you. Keep it locked in. Welcome everybody back to the Radical Marketer YouTube channel where we teach you how to build credit, leverage credit, and create wealth. So smash that like button for me, punch that subscribe button, and knock out that bell notification button because I make videos daily and you do not want to miss it. If it's your first time on my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I promise not to waste your time. I promise to give you all stuff and no fluff. Do me a huge favor, ladies and gentlemen. If it's your first time viewing my channel, please put first time viewer or first time watching. I and this amazing community would love to welcome you to this channel. This channel is all about helping one another in our entrepreneurial and credit journey and it's so awesome to have you. And for all of you radical marketers out there, salute. You know what time it is. It's emoji dance time. Throw your comments in the comment section right now. Smash that like button so that way YouTube puts this video in front of other people because when you engage with the video, even if it's just by hitting the like button or putting one to two to three comments in the comment section, it helps this video goes out to people so they can be blessed as well. And the last shameless plug, if you are not part of our private Facebook group, we have over 11,000 members in there. It is going strong. We talk about stuff we can't talk about on the channel. There's no self-promotion, no selling. It's a completely free community to join. If there's any self-promotion or spam, people are kicked out. Link is in the description below. And if you have a credit question, DM me at Radical Marketer on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram at Radical Marketer. Link is in the description below. And I can't wait to answer your credit question. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so let's talk about these PenFed credit cards because people have wanted to know about them. We've already went over their personal line of credit. We've been over their personal loan. We've been over the overview. We've talked about how to get a car with PenFed. All of those videos are on the channel. So if you like what I'm talking about here and you want to see the other PenFed videos, they're all on the channel. We're going to cover the credit card video today, and then we're also going to cover the last PenFed product, and we're going to move on to other institutions. But the next one after this one will be the PenFed Helox, because if you're in real estate investing, uh, that's going to be a pure gem for you. But let's talk about the credit card. So some of the interesting things about the credit card. Oh, and if you have a PenFed credit card, comment which PenFed credit card you have. What was the data points when you got it? And why did you get that card? Or which card did you get? So that way we can all engage in the comment section below. But for the PenFed credit cards, what you need to know is the maximum limits that these PenFed credit cards go to is $40,000. So unlike Navy Federal, where they go to $50,000 on all the cards and then $80,000 on the flagship, and so you can have a maximum exposure limit of $80,000 on Navy Federal, there is no maximum exposure limit with PenFed. And PenFed is open to everybody nationwide. So you do not have to be part of the Pentagon. You do not have to be a government contractor. You do not have to be in the military. You can literally call up PenFed on their 800 number, or you can literally just join right there online. And the cool thing about these credit cards, and I'll go over that in a minute, is you can actually apply for a credit card once your account has been established. Um, I actually will talk about the card that I got approved for uh, and what my data points were, okay? but. $40,000 limits. Uh, most of these cards are going to have no fees. As you can see here on the cards, the only card that's going to have a fee is the Pathfinder card. And this is a very, very popular uh, card. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. But most of them have no annual fees. There's just one of them that has a $95 fee, which is their premier credit card. Now, um, the cash advance uh, is 100% of the card limit, which is super rare. Most of the time, like maybe federal, you could do a 30 to 40% cash advance limit, you can literally liquidate the entire credit card at an ATM uh, at 100% of the limit, which is unheard of. So people love PenFed credit cards because they can turn them into personal lines of credit. And I'll tell you how you can do that at the end of the video, so stick around. But um, you can have 100% of the cash advance limit. Uh, there's no fees except for one card on the annual fee. Uh, there's no balance transfer fees. There's also no foreign transaction fees. Um, on that um, and then you guys can kind of go through the disclosures here as you will see here the cash advance is going to be the same as the actual APR okay um, so you guys I always like to look at the fine print on stuff because that's how you can tell if your APR on the cash advance is going to be different uh, than the regular card 
Other things that's really cool about this is if you've had a BK or a bankruptcy in the last two year, over two years ago, you can get their credit card. So under two years, no. After two years, yes. They are BK friendly. They're going to pull from Equifax for their credit cards. They're going to pull from Experian for their loans and their line of credit. Um, and then these cards are known for people that have, I've seen people with data points and have personally know people that have a low 600 score or a mid 600 score and they've gotten approved for the gold card or they've gotten approved for the platinum card um, and some even got approved for the cash rewards card okay so you can have bad credit and get uh, a pen fed credit card um, or you can have no credit and get a pen fed credit card or you can have great credit and get a huge limit with a pen fed credit card okay so that's going to be a really really cool thing now here's what i recommend for you guys uh, and then we'll jump into the cards okay if you have bad credit Okay, I would not apply for a card the same day. I would apply for a card in four to six months if you have bad credit. You say, why? Well, because the relationship that you have with PenFed is going to be trumping your Equifax score in that situation. So if you're doing weekly deposits or bi-weekly deposits, you're doing a lot of banking activity, um, PenFed seeing you as somebody reliable because when you put money in the bank, they lend the money that you put in there to other people. So you actually become a partner with them. And so credit unions are great for people rebuilding their credit or starting their credit because they are not so stingent on the underwriting. They're more flexible. So if you're rebuilding your credit or starting your credit journey, uh, I would recommend the gold card. It's going to be the easiest level uh, entry of barrier. Why? Because it's not a signature card. All signature cards are going to have a starting limit of $5,000. So as you can see, this is going to be a signature card. This is going to be a signature card. This is going to be a signature card. This is not going to be a signature card. So whenever you see a signature card, just be prepared for it to be a minimum starting limit of $5,000. Okay? It's also going to have the lowest APR, but it's going to probably be a $500 limit, $1,000 limit, $2,000 limit. Can it be more? Yes. If you don't want, if you're going to plan on carrying a balance and you want a low APR, this is going to be a great card for you. So this is great for people starting their credit or you know um, rebuilding their credit the second one if you want a good cash advance card you can get two percent back unlimited cash back um, with this visa signature card i love this card a lot if you're doing any manufactured spending uh, this would be a great card for you obviously because two percent unlimited cash back is great okay um two percent back there is a little bit of stipulation there um, and then they have promos and things like that right now they have the zero percent apr bt balance transfer fee okay that's kind of cool they have that one on the gold card that have that one on the platinum card i ended up getting the platinum and i got this one because i wanted a balance transfer offer uh, i got the zero percent offer with that it was very easy to get this card i got a ten thousand dollar starting limit on it super happy with it uh, but i got this one because i knew that i'd be doing a balance transfer and that was the only one at the time that had that balance transfer offer the pathfinder is a great travel card a lot of points uh, this was taken down for a little bit came back uh, recently 95 dollars waived uh you're actually your your weight for your existing honors advantage members so once you become one of those members you'll have that waived as well so basically this is great for cash back if you want the cash back go this route starting a rebuilding credit go for the visa you want a balance transfer want a decent all-around card go platinum and then if you're planning on doing a lot of travel things like that uh, then i like i do like the pathfinder okay um now let's talk about um something else here as well the other thing that i wanted to talk about was how can you turn this into a line of credit now like i said you stick around for the whole videos that's where we start dropping the gems uh, but basically there's a three ways now you're going to be able to liquidate this entire card at 120 days of opening they don't let you do it right away for fraud purposes but basically you can take this to the atm and pull all of the cash off of the atm go to a casino get the chips cash them out, get the money. Normally that's the cash advance, things like that. Uh, because there's no cash advance fees, it's just paying your normal APR. Uh, you can do that immediately after uh, four months of having the card open. Now that's one way that you can liquidate the card. The other way that you can liquidate the card is by doing that uh, and then by doing a balance transfer to cover the, the, the cash. So if you, you pulled out the cash, uh, it was easy to pull out the cash here, and then you can do a balance transfer, let's say from a Navy Federal Platinum. You can move it from there to there. Uh, ba basically, ATM would be one way to uh, do that with the cash advance. The second way would be able to do the balance transfer method. Uh, and then the third thing is, 
is because you can liquidate the card, um, you can literally pay it back every single month and do it again. So essentially it turns into a revolving line of credit, okay? Now it gets a little bit expensive unless you have uh, the need for it. But now let's think about this. Let's say you're a crypto investor and you need quick capital. Let's say you're a real estate investor and you need quick capital. If you had four of these credit cards and they all had a $10,000 limit on them or they all had a $20,000 limit, that's 80 grand in limits that you could easily liquidate for your real estate. Now, obviously it's gonna hurt your utilization, but when you're credit gardening, and here's another hack for you guys, I normally uh, max out credit cards and, and, and do crazy stuff with my personal credit cards when I'm in a gardening phase. Why? Because when I'm out of the garden, um, I can get higher limits on a credit limit increase. And because I'm not applying for any new credit, it really doesn't, I don't really care about having a lower score when I'm not applying for new credit. So I'm actually able to liquidate those and then move them back, move them out, move them back. And so we talk, we talk about that more um, in the private community and things like that, but these would be great cards to get. So anybody can join PenFed, get them their high limits. If you have a question about a PenFed card, please put it in the comment section below. If you have a PenFed card, put the card that you have, what's your limit on them? The only negative that I don't like about PenFed is they don't have uh, business credit cards and all of their credit limit increases will be a hard pull, okay? They will be a hard pull. The other nice thing about this as well is you can double dip with PenFed. It's good for 45 days. Some have said 90 days, I don't buy it. I say 45, they're gonna pull from Equifax. Uh, essentially, whenever you're doing your credit runs, remember, think, strategize who pulls from TransUnion, who pulls from Equifax, and who pulls from Experian, and then you wanna apply for them all within the same day or two, so that way you can get many different cards at one time, okay? Like, comment, subscribe, join the private Facebook group, tell me about your pen fed card, put your question, your comment, your question below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Salute.